Management of Natural Resources Management of Natural Resources We can reduce pressure on the environment by sincerely applying the maxim of reduce, reuse and recycle in our lives. Pollution of the Ganga the natural resources are not unlimited and with the human population increasing at a tremendous rate due to improvement in healthcare. Why do we need to manage our resources? The natural resources are not unlimited and with the human population increasing at a tremendous rate due to improvement in healthcare. Demand for all resources is increasing at an exponential rate. The management of natural resources requires a long-term perspective. The management should ensure equitable distribution of resources. Sustainable natural resource management demands that we plan for the safe disposal of wastes too. Forests and wildlife Forests are biodiversity hotspots. One measure of the biodiversity of an area is the number of species found there. One of the main aims of conservation is to try and preserve the diversity we have inherited. Experiments and field studies suggest that a loss of diversity may lead to a loss of ecological stability. Stakeholders Stakeholders are the people who live in or around forests are dependent on forest produce for various aspects of their life. The forest department of the government which owns the land and controls the resources from the forests. The industrialists from those who use tendu leaves to make beadies to the ones with paper mills who use various forest produce but are not dependent on the forests in any one area. The wildlife and nature enthusiasts who want to conserve nature in its pristine form. Sustainable Management The Chipko Andolan Hug the Trees movement was the result of a grassroot level effort to end the alienation of people from their forests. The destruction of forests affects not just the availability of forest products but also the quality of soil and the sources of water. Participation of local people in the conservation of forests can indeed lead to the efficient management of forests. Water for all Water is a basic necessity for all terrestrial forms of life. Human interventions pollute water bodies and also change the availability of water in various regions. Rains in India are largely due to the monsoons. Irrigation methods like dams, tanks and canals have been used in various parts of India since ancient times. Dams Large dams can ensure the storage of adequate water not just for irrigation but also for generating electricity. Canal systems leading from dams can transfer large amounts of water great distances. Water harvesting The principle of collecting and directing rainwater to a tank so that the water does not evaporate or goes wasted is called rainwater harvesting. Surface water is inadequate to meet our demand and we have to depend on ground water. Due to rapid urbanization, infiltration of rainwater into the subsoil has decreased drastically and recharging of ground water has diminished. There are two main techniques of harvesting rainwater. Storage of rainwater on surface for future use. Recharge to groundwater. Coal and petroleum. Fossil fuels, that is, coal and petroleum, are important sources of energy for us. Coal and petroleum were formed from the degradation of biomass millions of years ago. 
an overview of natural resource management. Sustainable management of natural resources is a difficult task. We need to keep an open mind with regards to the interests of various stakeholders. We need to accept that people will act with their own best interests as the priority. We need to tailor our requirements individually and collectively so that the benefits of development reach everyone now and for all the generations to come.